So, my mom heard of Utaptex, and so one night while she was in Oklahoma, that was like a week after one of our dogs got hit by a car. So, I kind of broke down, and I called her up, and was like, Mom, I can't handle this. I really want you back, and... Um, so she kind of just helped me through it, and it made me feel a lot better. But I still had issues for like a whole month before, and I started to do it tapping and stuff, and then eventually it just didn't bother me anymore when when I thought of Titan getting hit by a car, I just kind of thought of something else. I started to go to a happy memory, like when I swam with manatees or dolphins or went to the zoo for my birthday or Kalahari. Um, so I just started to do little, I call them mini taps, is where I just do like two little taps and every night. And eventually I just started to get stop thinking of bad things at night because I started getting scared of the dark after our cat died and it was we found him at night and that's also when our dog got hit by a car um so I started to just do mini taps every night after mom did a big session on me because I started to get I started to get super scared after we found the cat and I just kind of broke down every night, like, what if you die? What if Dad dies? What if somebody dies at night? Because that's when everybody else died, all our, our other animals. Um, so I just did mini taps every night, just, like, two taps around and said this stuff. And then I went to a happy memory. I started to think of funny cat videos or something. So, to get my mind off the fact that. And another thing was, I wasn't scared in the summer. Never. I could walk around at night completely alone outside without being single fret. But when it was winter, I don't know why, but I was terrified. And so that's when I started to do, I made up mini taps, I think. So then I told mom about it and I was like, I do this, so it's like brushing my teeth, like Robert said. So I do mini taps to just get a little bit of tapping in every night. And I found giant results. I wasn't scared of the dark anymore. I didn't have any fear. I didn't have to have mom tuck me in, which was ridiculous because I didn't even get tucked in when I was three. <laughs> <laughs> and I was nine. So, it was a bit ridiculous. So that really helped me and now, I don't think I have very many problems. Like, if I do, I just do a mini tap. There, so my name is Tammy Magnuson, and uh, my daughter Priella had talked earlier about her fear of the dark. Um, after our dog had died, I noticed this increasing fear when it would start getting dark. And she would just become anxious. And then she would say things like, I'm so scared that you're going to die too. I'm so scared. And so um, that's just something I dealt with. Worry and fear of the future. How can I make, how was I making it worse in the future? What could happen? This worry, this anxiety. Gotcha. She would disassociate from animals or from love and just withdraw and become a child that wasn't carefree and happy and confident and calm. And I did see that happening with her. Um, I just saw her getting kind of quieter and things like that. I'd, I would hate to think she would have to go on medication or something, but 
it was really getting to the point where it was uncontrollable and with her because I'm like, that's not my daughter. I knew who she was. And when I saw this fear and anxiety coming up in her, I knew that wasn't her. And so I'm like, give me my daughter back. (laughs) This had happened off and on before I left for Oklahoma. I think I was at level two. And then she ended up calling me at night and she was bawling and crying and just saying, mom, I'm so worried you're going to die. You're not going to come back. I'm so afraid. And I don't know what to do. I can't do this without you. And and it was very traumatic for her. And, and so she did deal with that in the evening, off and on, like she talked about, she would literally go to bed and say, mom, you have to tuck me in. And I think she felt kind of ridiculous being eight or nine years old and and needing me to be there for her to fall asleep. But we did this little ritual and we talked about how tapping can help and how our brain works. And uh, I think she must have been doing it on her own a little bit. And pretty soon I just noticed it subsiding. And then one day she was like, I don't need you to tuck me in anymore, mom. I'm like, really? And then it just disappeared. And what I've noticed with her is that she notices other people's programs. And so when she has a friend that has something going on, if they're afraid of something or they had something bad happen, she actually refers them to to me and says, you should have your mom talk to my mom because we know something that really helps. And so it was cool to see her want to share how how much it benefited her but for the most part she's like really confident kid and seems fearless so this um evening ritual thing was really uncommon for her and uh any just anything that she kind of notices she knows what to do and we got to have our priella back